back with another review from Freeman. Um, this is specifically for the Clearing Sweet Tea Plus Lemon Peel Off Clay Mask. Um, if you are not aware, um, I actually did get um, the Freeman, uh, another pack of Freeman uh, face masks, uh, which had eight in them. I previously did it um, not too long ago. Like um, I think I did it, it ended in October. I know the last one I posted was around October. Um, and I posted all 12 of them and then I actually ended up getting one for my birthday Well, I got it as a gift and it had eight of them. So I'm on my third one and By the time I use the second one, this is just like a quick update on that by the time I did the second one I felt like my skin started getting a little bit more drier now than it normally does And my skin feels really really tight and I know that's because of the dryness now my skin does get dry, but it doesn't get as dry as this, and I have to be moisturizing a lot more than I normally would. So, um, that's why I kind of skipped a few days in between just in case, um, to be on the safe side. My skin does feel still a little bit on the dry end, so I'm thinking of getting like a heat mask, um, just in case for my skin, and then put on the heat mask in between to help out my skin. Um, in terms of dehydration, I don't know if it's because of this or the toner um, or what the situation is because I, my skin start did start getting dry, uh, drier after using the face mask. So that's why I feel like it's more of the face mask than actually the toner being used. So I feel like I want to pause on the toner for a while until I finish uh, the remaining five that I have from Freeman and then get back on track with the toner. Um, so like that i can have a better visualization of what's going on or if it's like a better com of combination of both or what the situation is so this one right here is specifically for it's like peel off mask really um and it is an orange color um i i managed to barely make it so you have to make sure that it's really really thinly laid for it to be covered completely on your face um, it heals out with cleansing and oil absorbing benefits you expect from the clay plus the uh, the toning and refining purpose of easy to peel off mask the antioxidant um, rich tea helps protect skin from the environment and lemon helps brighten dark spots uh, for a radiant complexion um, we have to apply like a thin layer to a clean dry face so make sure to wash your face and dry it off and then um toner is optional but if your skin if you use the first one i first to i uh, um the way it comes in the packet is like i don't know if they put it in their own order but i actually rearranged it and did it in my own order so if you use one or two and you feel like your skin is drying then definitely do not use toner before just make sure your face is washed leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and make sure to avoid anything hair on it so avoid your uh, um, avoid the eye areas eyebrows hairline um obviously the eyelashes and the lips um and when it's dry then just gently peel it off um it kind of does pull on the skin a little bit especially when it gets dry so just so just make sure that you're not ripping off the uh, peel off mask uh, and then rinse your face with warm water use twice a week or after that's needed honestly since my skin is dry i would not recommend everybody to use it twice a week at least um i would say to do it at least once a week if your skin is really really needs that cleansing then yeah do it twice a week and then push back to once a week and then eventually do it once every two weeks once a month or something like that but give it a pause um so in terms of cleansing my pores i think since the other one kind of cleansed out the oils and the toxin from the skin hence why i think this was like also another reason why i kind of pushed it back a bit because i didn't want it to do it like back to back and then um and then not have any kind of results to tell you and i see i've been wearing a little bit more makeup between these two um uh face masks and i barely been wearing it since the pandemic started in march 2020 so i think that kind of helped out a little bit now Honestly, I don't know how you guys can see it. Oh, forget about the hair right there. But, like, um, let me see if I could do, like, a close-up on this. Oh, that's too close. But, honestly speaking, I I don't know. I don't know what to, 
what to tell like it took out the gunk or not honestly I don't know um but honestly my skin does look clean though I'm not gonna lie it does look clean um so I do have to give um because this morning I woke up and I did feel like my skin was getting dirtier again like closer to my hairline and eye area um because I kind of was getting breakout there um as terms and as as record as wait hold on as long as it is concerning regarding the dark circles or dark spots that you have only have like one specific dark circle dark spot like under like on my cheek like closer to the hairline um honestly i don't see any difference obviously by one try i want to see a difference um and it being slightly lighter but i personally um had be using the bio oil skincare oil um and i normally don't like oil on my face but that one specifically i don't put on my whole face i just put it on my on the dark circle area the dark spot i mean not the dark circle the the dark circles like the eye area so the dark spot um and it did reduce a lot and i only used so for like a half a bottle of it but not half not even like i think i'm still a little bit below quarter so i'm like between quarter and half um of the bottle so um like a third of the bottle would be more sense i think i don't know um, but I'd be using, um, in one of my other areas as well, um, and it did get lighter, and, um, so, I don't know if this actually did help with the lightening part of that dark spot, um, but for the cleansing, it kind of did cleanse it out, but I feel like, um, in terms, like, really for me, I think the really main focus of me cleaning out my pores is my nose area, honestly, because that's where I get a lot of uh, blackheads and um that's really what i need to clean the most and rest of my skin doesn't really need it and i feel like i didn't have a good um reaction because i i did facial probably three times before the pandemic and there were like a huge long pause in between and then i decided to do it back in october i believe and the kind of a little bit of those breakouts were resulted from that and I got a lot more blackheads um after that and then I kind of had to like get it waxed out because it was a lot and then it went back down I normally get I do wax on my nose for the blackheads honestly and it works wonders um I don't know if that's even okay to do it but I do it anyways because it works for me and um and it went back down again the breakouts that I do now get once in a while is because of the facial. So I personally don't want to go ahead and do the facials again anymore. That's just my personal feeling because, I mean, everything that I did they be doing is already done with. I think it's only the massage parts I need to work on on my skin. Everything else I already do like in terms of the cleansing and stuff and everything with the pores. So I have really find facial development for me. If it works for you, go ahead and do it. But with this, um, it's just a no-go at this point. Um, I personally won't use this again um, because of how dry my skin is. And like I said, my pores already kind of clean out already on its own. So um, not on its own, but I already do it in other ways. Um, and the lightning part, I don't really need the lightning part, honestly. Uh, in terms of the dark spots, um, I only have one of them. And if you want to try this, I would recommend to do it with caution and uh, buy, like, um, try to get, I know they have the, the bottle versions, so I would recommend to get, like, a bottle and then, like, do a girl's night out and everybody try it out on their skin. And then if it reacts negatively, just go, like, go wash it off. If it doesn't react negatively, 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 then leave it on until it's dry, peel it off, go wash your face with the warm water and see how your skin well, complete the skincare routine and then see how your skin feels, looks, and everything. And if it works out, then yeah, you can try out these little packet ones. Um, that comes in like a box of 8 or 12, depending on which one you get uh, and which one is available at the time. So, 
then obviously you can try out these different ones and reinvent it according to how you want to use it step by step. Um, and then from there you can easily move forward. I feel like um, there is like a hydrating one, I think, if I'm not wrong. And I'm something like that. So I'm going to be using that towards the end. I feel like that is part of the reason why I didn't pack it. That might be like the end result or whatever. But I feel like, but still, since I'm not using it on the same day, it doesn't make sense why it's like really making my skin dry so I personally wouldn't use this again because right now my main focus on my skin is hydration um but I mean I can still use it once in a while but I feel like I might probably use it less frequently on how my skin has reacted and maybe use it preferably in the summertime now to see how my skin reacts in the summertime but other than that let me know if you want me to check out something else and I'll look into it. And then that I'll be linking both my Instagram pages. Make sure to follow. Hit the subscribe button and the bell button. I'll be back for more. Stay safe, stay safe and stay tuned, guys.